what is up you guys it's your girl sky elise okay and if you are new to my channel welcome okay all right y'all so here i am bare faced and bald headed and everything else and today i'm just gonna hit y'all with my most natural face routine ever okay so I really don't really beat beat my face that much anymore so I'm gonna give y'all my quick easy natural everyday makeup tutorial for when you want to look cute but you don't want to look like you put in too much effort you know what I'm saying so without further ado let's get into this tutorial. okay so first and foremost okay you got to moisturize the face can't have no dry face that you're gonna be putting makeup on so that is very much important so I'm just gonna put some moisturizer on put some on my forehead so I'm just gonna use some regular primer this is the flesh primer I've been using this for forever it's almost gone so this is what it looks like so I'm just gonna put that all on the bottom of my face all right, so when I do my makeup, I always um, start with concealer first. Um, I don't know why I do things in this order, but it's just the way that I do things. I'm gonna start off with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade Caramel. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the outer corner of my eye, on the inner corner of my eye. Um, What I like to do when I do my concealer is I like to make sure it's lined up on the side of my nose to kind of place it to where I already want it to be so I don't have to blend it out too much. And I'm just gonna put a little bit above my lip and a little bit on my chin. So I'm also gonna take this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Um, I really like this concealer because it has a really thick um, consistency to it. And this is in the state shade C12. So this is like really, really, really lighter than my skin color, but I like it because I really like a bright under eye. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in this little gap right here. Not a lot because when you blend it out, it's gonna go where you need it to go. All right, y'all, so now I'm just gonna blend out this concealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. I'm sorry y'all I'm looking down in my mirror maybe I should bring my mirror up here so honestly when I do my natural makeup tutorial which I know y'all probably right now it's like girl that does not look natural but blending is key okay blending is everything all right so right now i'm just spreading the color to where i want it to go but we got a lot of blending to do okay so that's the key to like flawless natural looking makeup it's all about the blends it's all about how you make your makeup melt into your skin so now i'm just taking my foundation brush and i'm just blending out the edges and you can already see that it's starting to blend more into my skin it doesn't look as bright as it did initially so that's what i'm doing when i tell you guys this is my go-to makeup tutorial or makeup routine this literally only takes me like 15 minutes to do like literally Every time I go out and I wear makeup, this is what I do. Like, I do not be doing the most no more. Because who want to be out, like, with a whole bunch of makeup on? You don't even be needing all that makeup to look cute. You know what I'm saying? You can still very much serve looks with a little bit of makeup on. 
because at the end of the day makeup is used to enhance your beauty not to hide your beauty okay so the key to me, my makeup looking very natural is that I don't put makeup everywhere on my face. I never put makeup on my forehead and I never put makeup on my nose. And I feel like this area right here is really what makes a difference because I don't have a big nose, but I don't have a small nose either. So when I put makeup and con try to contour my nose, it just makes my nose look bigger than what it needs to look like. So as y'all can see, now that I have blended it out, it really looks like something now, okay? That's why I said the key to flawless makeup is blending. And just by me putting on concealer, that already made a huge difference in my face, all right? So now what I like to do is I like to take my black opal foundation stick. Yeah, real old school or whatever. I still use this. I love this because especially in the winter time okay um i still do i still do use liquid foundation but if i'm not really doing like a real makeup routine or whatever like a full beat or whatever i'm not going to use liquid foundation so i'm just gonna just put a little bit like Well, I know y'all probably like that's not a little bit, but it's a little bit for me. Okay. So I'm just going to put it in the areas that I did not put concealer in. So on my jawline, on the bottom half of my cheeks and like around my mouth and around my chin. That's where I'm going to put it. Now I'm just going to spray my face with this hydrating mist so that I can blend out the um, foundation better. gonna do that and we is already looking cute okay I'm just gonna put a little bit right here because my forehead is shining but <laughs> yeah we is looking cute all right already and i ain't even did nothing for real yet like when i tell y'all this is my go-to routine and it takes literally like no effort at all now that i got that done i'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer setting my concealer is real simple i use the fenty beauty pro filter powder this is in the shade banana so I'm just going to use that. So what I like to do, I don't really like to bake. I just like to press the powder into my skin. And that does enough for me. Because like I said, it's a natural routine. So I don't want it to look too powdery I still want to have a little bit of shine on my skin so I'm just placing that everywhere that I place the concealer So now that I'm done with that part, I am going to go in and I'm going to powder contour. So I don't cream contour at all, not even when I'm doing a full beat. So I'm going to use these both, both of these palettes, the Black Radiant Contour Palettes. These are the shades that I'm going to be using. So I always start off with the light one. Because when you think about layering, you always want the light color to be first and then you want the dark to be on top to add dimension to it. So I'm going to do this middle one right here. Clearly, I use that one a lot. And 
I am just going to line my cheeks here. And when you're doing this, you want to stay above your cheekbone. You don't want to put it under here. You want to stay above your cheekbone because you don't want it to look too, um, you know, you don't want it to look too muddy, your face to look too muddy. All right, now I'm going to go in with the dark palette. I'm lying, y'all. Forgive me. The medium to dark palette. That is the one that I use. Not the dark to deep. I use the medium to dark palette. All right, so on the, on the medium to dark palette, I use this color right here, clearly. Just gonna do the same thing basically, but I'm not gonna OD with it. Just gonna take my foundation brush and I'm just gonna kind of blend it with that as well because I don't want it to be like too, too much or like too, too harsh. So. Just doing that. All right, so ho, ho. now I'm just gonna go in with this blush kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I typically use these two right here. I just mix them together just to add some color, which I really don't need much. All right, so now that I got my cheeks together, I am going to go in with the Pro Filter Powder, the setting powder I use to set my concealer. And I'm just gonna like chisel my cheeks out just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not gonna do too much. So that really added like, you know, some definition to my face. Makes it look like, you know, I'm chiseled or something, you know, like a like a sculpture or something, you know. Now I'm gonna hydrate my face with this hydrate and fix spray by Makeup Revolution. I'm gonna take this highlight palette. I got this from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but I love it because I just use, I, I just use all of them. And I'm just going to highlight a little bit on the balls of my cheeks. All right, y'all, so I'm not going to do anything to my eyebrows because um, I got my eyebrows tattooed on and they aren't fully healed yet and you're not supposed to put makeup on them but I really don't need to put makeup on them because they look so good already so I'm just going to just comb them up a little bit like they literally look so good one last thing that I'm gonna do y'all already know what it is my trick that I like to do with my lips so I like to take like an angled brush and I like to use this shade right here on the contour palette. And I just like to line around my lips with the powder to make my lips look just a little bit more juicier, you know, cause they don't need much help. But you know, I'm dramatic. And this actually like I honestly prefer doing this over lip liner. Because I just feel like lip liner doesn't look as natural as this does. So I guess you can say that I'm contouring my lips.
So let me not forget this last step. Um, this is a Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation in the shade Coconut. Um, it's by Maybelline. So I'm going to use this to kind of like just bring my face all together. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lash line. Gloss, I'm just going to put on this butter. This So for lip gloss, I'm just going to put on this NYX Butter Gloss. This is the shade Meringue. I don't know if I pronounced it right. But you know like lemon meringue pie. But without the lemon. It's just called meringue. And it's like really just like a really bubblegum pink type color. I love this color. Because when I line my lips with the brown and put this pink on baby lips be popping all right you guys so this is the final look i hope you really enjoyed this video this is my quick and easy under 15 minutes makeup routine this is my natural makeup routine i barely use any makeup y'all seen the video I barely use anything for real. I just use concealer and powder pretty much. But this is the final look and this is my go-to for when I'm about to go out, when I'm about to go somewhere and I wanna put on some makeup, I always do this routine because it's quick and it's easy and it's popping and it's effortless. So if you enjoyed this video, please like this video because it really helps with other homegirls who might be looking to join our clique you know what I'm saying and you know it just puts me out there so that I can get more views okay so please like this video if you enjoyed it and comment below on any other videos that you want me to do or that you're interested in seeing from me but thank y'all so much for tuning in and I will catch y'all in the next one